Hello students, welcome to MacTab. I am Ayush and here I am with you with the next lecture of our series of number system. I hope you have completed your first lecture. If not, I advise you to first do watch the previous lecture, then come to this one so that you can understand the concepts better. So without much ado, let's start our second lecture of this series that is concept of greatest and smallest numbers. So in this class, we are going to discuss about the how to arrange numbers in ascending and descending orders and uh, how to read and write the large numbers. So let's start with our first slide. Yeah, here, here I have some questions for you, uh, which are uh, basically which are connected, uh, which are connected to the concepts which we have studied in our previous lecture. We in this question, uh, we have random digits. Like in first question, we have a two, then a comma. It's not a full number. These are four separate digits, a two, then a comma, then a eight, then a seven, then a four. So what you have to do is you have to just find, uh, you have to just arrange these digits so that we can make a greatest number and we can make a smallest number. So before doing these questions, what I want you, I just want to give you some uh, simple examples so that we can start from easy num easy digits and then we can proceed with these ones okay so yeah here i am giving you random digits like 2 9 7 yeah what i want is i want you to make the smallest number from these digits so as i have told you earlier what we have to do is when we want to uh, make the smallest number so what we will do at the highest place we will place the smallest value what i want to say is that here we have three digits so we have to make a number that is a ones a tens and a hundred right because we have three digit so if at the hundred place if we take 2, then we have to multiply it with 100. And if we take 9, and then we have to do it, we have to multiply it with 100. Then according to you, which one will be the smallest and which one will be the greatest? Because if we multiply 2 with 100, then we will get 200. If we multiply 9 with 100, we will get 900. So according to you, which one is the smallest and which one is the greatest? Obviously, this one is the smallest. So, if we want to make the number smallest, what we have to do is we just make sure that uh, at the 100 place, we get the smaller number. So, at the uh, 100 place, we will take the smallest digit. Out of these three digits, we will, we, we will take only the smallest digit. Then comes to tens. What do you think? A number coming at the tens place will be that. We have taken 2 here, okay. Now we are we are left with 9 and 7. Either we can place a 7 here or a 9 here, and we can place a 7 or 9 at the ones place. So what do you think? 9 into 10 and 7 into 10. Which one will be the greatest and which one will be the smallest? Here 9 into 10, it will become 90. Here 7 into 10, it will become 70. So according to you, which one will be the smaller between these two? Obviously, 70 is smaller than 90, right? So at the uh, tens place, we will uh, just, let me change the color of this pen. Yeah. So at tens place, we will write 9. Okay. Oh, sorry. At tens place we will write 7 because 7 is smaller because 70 is smaller than 90 so we'll place 7 here then at the ones rate what we are what we are left with we have used 2 we have used 7 now we will we are left with 9 only so here we will write 9 so the smallest digit will be 297 now comes to greatest. 
greatest yeah so for greatest digit what we have to do is we will try to uh, place the higher digit at the hundreds place so that we can multiply it with 100 as we have done here see we have three numbers we have to multiply one with 100 then one with 10 and then one with one only right this is what we have studied earlier so what do you think to make it greatest what do we have to multiply with what we have to multiply 100 with to make it greatest we will take the greatest digit from here so we'll multiply it by 9 then with 10 to make it greatest if we have taken 9 here then we are left with 2 and 7 so which one do you think will is greater obviously 7 is greater than 2 right so we will multiply 10 by 10 with 7 yeah so and the 2 is left now so 2 will be multiplied here so 9 7 2 will be the greatest number getting my point now if you want to start fresh with another example let's go now I have a 5 6 4 I just want you guys to tell me the greatest number that can be made from these digits from arranging these digits these are separate digits so just do one thing 100 something into 100 plus something into 10 plus something into 1 so to make the number great greatest what do you think we should place here among these three digits to make it greatest we will take the greatest digit so that it can be multiplied by 100 and we will get the greatest value of 100 so from these three digits which one is with which among these digits is greatest this is six is greatest right so we'll write six here now comes to tens now we have used six we are left with five and four which one do you think is greatest it is five so we'll multiply it by five now we are left with four only so the greatest number will be six fifty four we just add it Okay, 600 as we have uh, studied in our previous lecture, we just have to add it 600 plus 5 into 10 is 50 plus 4 into 1 is 4. It is 600, 50 and 4. Add 4, 5, 6. This is what we'll get. That's why I have wrote it here. Okay. Now what about smallest number? The smallest number five six four same these digits okay now hundred plus dash into ten plus dash into one so just tell me to make this number smallest with digit we have to multiply this hundred the smallest among these three right so the smallest is four as five and six is great uh, five and six are greater than four so we'll write four here then we are left with five and six because we have already used four so with ten we'll multiply which one is the smallest among these at the great uh, for greatest we just look for greatest first but uh, for the smallest number we look for smallest then smallest then smallest then the remaining so we took the smallest among these three four we took here then among these two uh, between these two which one is smallest it is five then we are left with six only so 400 plus 50 plus six what we will get we will get 456 so with these digits with digits like 5, 6, 4, the smallest number which we can make is 
456 and the greatest number which we can meet from these digits is 654. So I hope the concept is clear, right? Now I'll take another example with four digits. Okay. Uh, the concept will be clear. Now let's say I have one, seven, five, two. Okay. Now we have four digits. I just want you guys to make the greatest number out of these four digits. So how will it proceed? Dash into. Now we have four digits. So once, tens, hundred, thousand. That means the number will go up to thousand place, right? So we'll multiply it by one thousand plus dash into after 1000 we will multiply it by 100 after 100 we will multiply it by tens plus after tens we will multiply it by ones right so to make the number greatest from which digit we will multiply 1000 to make this greatest we will find out the greatest digit from these four digits so the greatest is 7. 7 is greater than 5, 2 and 1, right? So we'll write 7 here. Now we have used 7. We are left with, we have used 7, right? Now we are left with 5, 2 and 1. So uh, among 5, 2 and 1, which, uh, which is smallest, uh, which is greatest? We are looking for greatest number, which is greatest? Obviously 5 is greater than 2 and 1, right? We'll write 5 here. Then we have used 5 now. Now we are left with 2 and 1. So uh, between 2 and 1, which one is greater? It is 2. Now we have used 2, we are left with 1 only. So we'll write 1 here. Now we'll multiply it. 7 into 1000, 7000. 5 into 100, 500. Plus 2 into 10 is 20. Plus 1 into 1 is 1 only. Now, if we add 7, 5, 2, 1, this is the greatest digit. How I added it? 7,521. Then here, if we add it, 1, 2, 5, 7, right? So this is the greatest number which we can made from these four given digits, right? Now come to smallest number. A smallest number. Now uh, let me write these digits again. One, seven, five, two. One thousand because we have four digits. Into one hundred plus dash into ten plus one into dash into one wait a second one into one now we have to make the number smallest to make the number smallest uh, from which digit will multiply this number this thousand will multiply it with the smallest digit now we have which one is the smallest among these four obviously one is the smallest right so we will multiply it by one then again we have used one right now we are left with three digits uh, which is uh, the smallest among these three it is two now we use two now we are left with seven and five the smallest is five five is smaller than seven right now we are left with 7 only. So 1, 2, 1000 plus 200 plus 50 plus 7. It will become 1, 2, 5, 7. So it is the smallest number that, uh, that can be made from these given four digits. And it is the greatest number. 
Got my point? Now let's come to our questions. Yeah, here we we are given four digits. So the highest place value will be thousand. As for four digits, we have to go to go up to the thousand place. Once, tens, hundred, and thousand. Right. So for greatest number, what we will do? We will uh, place the uh, greatest number at the highest place value at the thousand place. So which is the greatest number? It is eight. So eight into thousand plus. Now we use eight. We are left with seven, four, and two. So which is the greatest among these three number? The remaining three numbers: seven, four, and two. Seven is the greatest. Now we will multiply seven with hundred. Plus, now we are left with four and two. Which one is greatest? Obviously, four is greater than two, right? So four into ten plus two into one. So when we when we multiply it, we will get eight seven four two. So this is the greatest number which we can make from the these given digits, right? Now let's come to smallest numbers. For smallest number, what we have to do? We just have to find out the smallest digit. So the smallest digit is two here. So two into one thousand plus. Now again, we are left with eight, seven, and four. Which one is smallest? Four is smaller than eight and seven. So four into hundred plus. Now we are left with eight and seven only. We have used two. We have used four. Now we are left with eight and seven. Which one? Is, which one is smallest? Uh, that seven is smaller than eight. So seven into ten plus eight because only eight is left here. So eight into one. Now if we multiply it and then add, we will get two thousand four hundred. Seventy-eight. So it is the smallest number which we can make from these digits. So I want you guys to try your hand uh, for these digits. So I want you guys to find the greatest number first. Pause the video and try. I hope you you got your answer. So now proceed with me. Which is the greatest digit? It is nine. Nine into one thousand plus. Now with remaining part, which is the greatest seven. Seven into hundred plus. Now uh, from uh, between four and one, which is greater? Four. Four into ten plus. Now we are left with one only. Then one into one. So if we uh, multiply it, we'll get nine thousand seven hundred forty-one. Although I am multiplying, uh, I am writing it here directly. But I want you guys to multiply it like this: nine thousand. To add this after multiplying, to add this nine thousand plus seven hundred plus forty plus one. So nine seven four one. I am not just. I am just not writing this part here. But I I want you guys to understand it. Okay. So now come to smallest number. So first we will find the smallest digit. Which one is the smallest? One. So one into one thousand plus. Then again with the remaining three digits, which one is the smallest? Four. Four into hundred plus seven into ten plus nine into one. I hope you got. Oh, why I am multiplying it with seven and then nine? Because now with the leftover part, after using one and four, we uh, we are left with nine and seven. So which is smaller? Seven is smaller. So I multiplied seven with ten, then remaining part nine with one. So what I got is one thousand, one thousand. Uh, also, I want you guys to, while writing, I just want you guys to recite it again and again, like one thousand four hundred seventy nine. This is. I this is how I want you to recite it, okay? 
Now let's come to the greatest number again for this question. So the greatest digit is 7. 7 into 1000 plus then which one is greater with the remaining part? 5. 5 into 100 plus 4. 4 into 10 plus 0 into 1. 0 into 1 is 0 only. So 7000 plus 500 plus 40 plus 0 this is why I am writing the multiplication here because of this 0 okay 0 into 1 is 0 so the number will be 7540 so this is the greatest number which we can made by which we can made by using these digits these given digits right now come to smallest number for the smallest number I want a fresh page so that I can explain what I want to explain before uh, going to next uh, blank page I just want you to know that it is written here that we want a four digit number and not a three digit, three digit number okay so the, the digits given here are four seven five zero now let's come to here four seven five zero these are the digits which are which were given in the, that question, right? So I want you to make the smallest four digit number. Right? So for the smallest, what we will do is for the smallest, what we will do is plus dash into 100 plus dash into 10 plus dash into 1 right now i how we proceed which one uh, we will find the smallest digit among these four given digits right so which is the smallest zero is the smallest right but uh, what I want you to understand is if we multiply it by 0 then at the 1000th place it will become 0 and then 4 then 5 then 7 right so as I have told you earlier if we have a 0 here then it has no value so this number became a 3 digit number right but in our question, it was given that we want a smallest four digit number, right? So we cannot take zero here. This is what I want you guys to understand because it will become a three digit number. So what we will do is zero into 1000 plus dash into 100 plus dash into 10 plus dash into one. Now we will check the smallest number apart from this zero. If we uh, uh, ignore zero here, which is the smallest number among these three digits? It is four. So we'll write four here. Now for the next part, we can take zero. We'll take the smallest then. At the first place, we cannot take zero, but after first place, we can at any place we can take zero. Okay, so now the smallest among these three digit number, three digits. Now the smallest number among these three digit is zero. Then if we, we have used four, we have used zero. Now we want to use seven and five, right? So which is the smallest, is smaller, seven, and, seven or five, it is five. Then it is seven. So the smallest four digit number will be four zero five seven right and not zero four five seven to emphasizing that we cannot use zero here I am writing this here and I have marked it with a cut 
okay yeah so let's continue your questions now as i have told you the smallest number will be 4 4 wait a second 4 0 5 7 right as we have solved it on another page right now let's come to our next question now let's come to the fourth i'll do it speedily because i have explained uh, the above questions very slowly right so for the greatest number how will we proceed we'll find the greatest digit it is seven seven thousand plus then again greatest from the remaining digit is six then six hundred then two into ten then one into one right so we will get seven six two one this is the greatest number which we can make from the given four digits right now come to smallest so the smaller smallest digit is one one into one thousand then two is the smallest two into hundred then six is the smallest six into ten then remaining is seven seven into one so we will get one thousand two hundred sixty seven this is the smallest number which we can make from the these given digits right i hope you got the concept now come to ascending order what is ascending order if if uh, let's say if uh, four numbers are given let's say two six three seven and i want you guys to uh, arrange these numbers in ascending order so what is ascending order ascending order is like this this is the smallest person this is the uh, bigger person than the smallest one this is again bigger than the previous one then bigger than the previous one then bigger than the previous one and then and so on so now first we will take the smallest number then bigger than the small uh, the previous number then bigger than the previous number then bigger than the previous number here we will find the smallest number which is smallest 2 then after 2 3 then after 3 6 then after 6 7 that means 2 is the smallest and 7 is the greatest right so we have arranged this in ascending order now it is in ascending order first we have the smallest number then bigger than the previous one then bigger than the previous one and then the greatest number so let's come to our first question from these numbers uh, from these numbers find out the smallest number first which is the smallest just focus on the tens part first here you can say uh, you can see that it is zero here that means it is a single digit number nine will be smallest because it is a single digit number i told you earlier that if a number is having three digit and a number is having two digit then the number with three digits will be greater and the number with two digit will be smaller than the number having three digit right so here 9 is the smallest we will write 9 first you can write like uh, you can write 9 either this or like this because 0 holds no value so first at the first place 9 will come after 9 let's check the tens part only 9 3 2 2 which is the smallest obviously 2 2 is smaller than 9 and 3 right so uh, these two uh, these two numbers have uh, 2 at the at its tens place so we will check for ones place now here at ones place it has 1 here at ones place it has 4 so from, from between 1 and 4 which is smaller 1 is smaller so after 9 we will write 21 then 24 then then come to these 
tens place again uh tens place again because we have checked for the uh, the numbers which are having same digits at tens place so now it has three at its tens place and it has nine at its tens place so three will be smaller right so we'll write 33 here and then 90. i hope you got it uh, before proceeding to three digit, uh, three digit number let me take some more examples yeah here we have 29 91 07 27 yeah arrange in ascending order ascending order how to arrange these numbers in ascending order find the smallest number it is the smallest because here it is a single digit number because zero is at its tens place that means it has only single digit because zero holds no value here right so we will write zero seven then then check for tens digit now two two nine so two is smaller but here two here two if the digits are same, we'll check for ones place. Here it is nine, here it is seven. So which is smaller? Seven. So we'll write 27 here. Then 29 and then the remaining 91. So seven is the smallest, 91 is the greatest. Got it? Now I want you guys to do two nine, 91, 191. And 199. How we will proceed? We just want to arrange it in ascending order. Ascending order. We will check for first we will check for number of digits. It has three, it has three, it has two, it has again two. So the number having two digits will be smaller than the number having three digits. So we will check for tens place first. In these digits having only in these numbers having only two digits so here it is two here it is nine which is smaller obviously two so we'll write 29 first then 91 then now we have two three digits number we'll check the thousand place first here it is one here it is one that means we cannot tell which is smaller and greater now we'll check for tens place here it is 9, here again it is 9, so still we cannot tell. Now we will jump to 1's place. Here it is 1, here it is 9, which is smaller? Obviously 1 is smaller than 9. Then we will write 191 here and the remaining 199 here. Now we have arranged it in ascending order. We, uh, 29 is smallest, then 91, then 191 and then 199 got it so let's come to our questions again yeah so try your try this uh, second question pause the video for a second and try if you can uh, figure out it uh, arrange it in ascending order i hope you get the answer right so let's check here we have four numbers two are having three digits and two are having four digits three digits four digits right so obviously number having three digits will be smaller so we'll check for number three digits only first four numbers having three digits so here it has five at its 100 place here it is 8 so which will be smaller the, num the number with 5 at its 100 place right so we'll write 571 first then after this is three digit number then we'll check for again for three digit number which is having larger number than 5 so after 5 it is having 8 so 8 4 7 
then will come for four digit number here it has eight at its thousand place here it has nine at its thousand place so eight is smaller than nine we'll write eight three two zero nine seven five four got it that means this is the smallest num smallest number then this then this and this is the greatest got it and we can also mark it like this this is the smallest wait a second yeah so this is the smallest that means this number is smaller than this number and then this number is smaller than this number and then this number is smaller than this number i hope you know these signs if not let me explain it in just a second a quick revision yeah five will be smaller than six the num uh, the arrow uh, the pointing this sign uh, if pointing towards a number that means that number is smaller and if it is open in front of a number that means this number is greater this is a little trick by which you will not confuse right so if it is 21 here and 29 here which is smaller and which is greater which number should face the point 21 because 21 is smaller so 21 is smaller than 29 that means this point shows that it is smaller and this open space shows that it is bigger, right? So let's come to our questions again. Yeah. Now let's come to the third uh, third question. Here we have uh, numbers with five digits. It is having five digit. It is having four digit. It is having again five and again five. So the number will uh, the number with four digit will be smaller. Obviously, so we'll write 9801 here. It will be smaller than the number with five digits. So for five digit, we want to check the smaller number with five digits. We will check the 10,000th, uh, the digit at 10,000th place. So here it is three. Here, wait a second. Let me change the pen's color. Yeah, here it is three. Here again it is 3, but here it is 2. So 2 is smaller than 3, right? So we'll write 2, 5, 7, 5, 1. It is smaller. It is bigger. This number is bigger than this, but is smaller than remaining two numbers, right? Now it has 3 here. It has 3 here. We'll check for next uh, place. Ne next uh, place, right? At this, uh, at 1000 place, it has 6. At thousand place, it has eight, which is smaller six uh, between six and eight. Six is smaller, so we'll write three six five zero one is greater than three eight eight zero two. Got it? Let's move to next concept. Now here, it is descending order. Des in de uh, in descending order. Let me write it right here. Ascending. Descending. Descending order. In ascending order, we write the smallest number first and the greater the smallest number first and greatest number at the last but in descending we will write greatest number first and the smallest number last that means the pointer will be towards the smallest number like this this is smaller than a number which is greater than this like if we have 9 7 6 8 2 1 if we want to arrange the num uh, these 
numbers in descending order what we will do first in ascending order we will uh, we we were finding the smallest number first here we will find this greatest number first so so the greatest number is 9 here first we will write 9 then uh from these remaining digit which is greater 8 is greater then we will write 8 then 7 then 6 then we are left with 2 and 1 only which is greater 2 and then 1 that means this is the smallest number and this is the greatest number that means we can say that ascending order is ascending orders is opposite opposite of descending order because here we are taking a smallest digit first here uh, a smallest number first here we are taking a small uh, greatest number first so let's talk about sign also nine eight seven six two one right so the sign will be like wait a second sign will be like this one it is pointing towards this smaller number right this like this like this like this like this so how we pronounce this number it is like if it is written like this then we can say that 9 is greater than 8 this is the sign of greater than it is open at this number so that means this number is greater and it is pointing towards this number that means this number is smaller i hope you got the concept let's come to our questions so for descending order uh, first question here we have to find the greatest number first right so this number is having four digit this number is having five digit this number is having four digit and this number is again given four digit so to find the greatest number first we can see that this number is having five digit and all other numbers are having four digits that means this number will be greatest right so we will write this number first eight five four double zero this is the greatest number then for uh, now we'll check for four digit numbers so in four digit number here at that thousand place we have seven here at thousand place we have seven here at thousand place we have five here so seven is greater than five right and we want to find the next greatest number so we'll check for another number and uh, next digit net next digit at hundred value hundred place value so here it is eight at hundred place here it is five at hundred place so which is bigger eight is bigger so we'll write seven eight six one it is greater than now we are left with these two here it is seven here it is five we'll check for here it is seven and here it is five so seven uh, the digit uh, with with the number with seven at its thousand place will come so we'll write seven thousand five hundred here then the remaining five thousand that means we can say that this 85,400 because it is at 10,000 please 10,000 so it is 85,400 is greater than 7,861 and 7,861 is greater than 7,500 and then 7,500 is greater than 5,000 that means it is the smallest number it is the greatest number right it is written for 10,000 okay now come to the b part here we have the number with four digits number with five digits number with five digit again and number with five digit again right so for greatest number we'll check the uh, digit at the ten thousands place right here it is nine here it is eight here it is four so which is the greatest among 4, 8 and 9, it is 9. So 9, 2, 5, 4, 7 greatest is the greatest. It is again. It is greatest. 
then we'll check for remaining here it is 8 and here it is 4 so it is greatest it is greater 8 at 7 1 5 then 4 5 3 2 1 and at last we will write this because this will be the smallest because it has only four digit so we'll write 91971 so this is the uh, these numbers are arranged in descending order now this is the greatest this is the smallest okay let's come to c part i want you guys to do this question pause our video for two minutes and try i hope you got your answer so let's proceed let's check for thousand place first one one three one so three will be the largest digit right so three three double one is will be the largest then here we have one here we have one here we have one we'll check for the uh, digit at the hundreds place now here it is two here it is one here it is zero which is greater two so we'll write one two double one then greater than now between these two number here it is one here it is zero which is greater one or zero it is one which is greater than zero right so one one two three is greater than one zero zero three right